Whether it's down to the product being largely underpromoted or being surrounded by a ton of unwanted controversy, these movies look destined to stumble upon their incoming release. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 7 upcoming movies that are doomed to fail. Number 7. Bullet Train not for the last time on this list, the inclusion of one of Hollywood's heaviest of hitters in Brad Pitt still doesn't look like it's going to be enough to steer the following action-packed entry into the world of heavy profits. Again, bringing together a pretty stacked roster of acting titans together under one roof, this time of the bullet train variety, director David Lech has had the honor of having the likes of Pitt, Sandra Bullock, Michael Shannon, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Zazie Beetz, and Brian Tyree Henry, to name but a few to shoot throughout production. But despite Lech being known for his ability to handle such high-octane action and drama in the likes of Hobbs and Shaw and Atomic Blonde with ease, without a superhero or other popular IP in sight, this one feels like a hard sell to casuals from the get-go. That's without mentioning the fact that Sony have already splurged a whopping $90 million on bringing this speeding train into existence, meaning that anything less than a decent amount of buzz by the time it rolls into the station could cement this as one of 2022's most notable failures. While Sony's next attempt at draining the comic book adoring fanbase's pockets does come very much well stocked in the superhero department that seems to be the financial gift that keeps on giving for the likes of Marvel Studios and Warner Brothers on occasion, it's still unfortunately lacking on one front. That being the fact that said superhero, Morbius, isn't what you'd call the most well known of crime fighters. To go with Jared Leto's little known soon to be vampire leading light, the overall tone of the incoming Sony Spider Man universe arrival seems to suggest that director. Daniel Espinosa is very much leaning into the horror and unsettling supernatural genre elements with Morbius too. And both of these elements don't exactly scream out, let's go and watch this new Marvel flick for our next family outing together, darling, do they? Also, while Leto will undoubtedly throw his everything into his portrayal of Dr. Michael Morbius, the actor has gone through his usual dramatic physical transformation for the role. He still doesn't possess the drawing power of, say, a Tom Hardy, a presence that unquestionably aided Venom in its overall quest for success. When it was made official that not only would Disney be getting behind the concept of a full-on Star Wars Rogue Squadron feature focusing on a new generation of pilots being put through their paces in the sky and space, but they'd also acquire the services of Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins, fans were right to be rubbing their hands at the potential of what was to come in 2023. However, with news ultimately breaking of Jenkins reportedly not being able to agree in a script with Lucasfilm executives, former The Hollywood Reporter editor Matthew Baloney would reveal on Puck News that Jenkins wasn't willing to dick around, and she has other projects, notably Wonder Woman 3 at Warner Brothers, where she enjoys more creative freedom. The announcement of Rogue Squadron being pushed back due to said creative differences seems to have all but killed this adventure before takeoff, but even the reports of Jenkins opting to step into a producer role for another of her scheduled projects in Cleopatra may not be enough to keep this X-Wing from going up in smoke should Lucasfilm and the director continue to clash in the lead-up. Whether this one makes it to cinemas or not, things are not looking great for this one-time dream job. Number 4. Mario The Animated Movie in another instance of not exactly reading the room when it came time to cast the latest cinematic Mario experiment, an ensemble that initially looked destined to pop spurts of laughter and joy out of audiences all over the world, with the inspired inclusions of Jack Black as Bowser and Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, was dealt a fatal blow when it came to its leading man. Now, that's not to say that Chris Pratt isn't a serviceable star capable of leading a picture, but it's due to those already logged leading man miles that fans all over the internet have taken issue with his involvement. In short, the generic everyman quality Pratt can imbue into just about everything he touches, see the Jurassic World and Lego Movie franchises, doesn't look set to cut it for the unmistakable Mario, with many hoping that someone like longtime Mario voice Charles Martinet would be brought on board for the Universal Pictures project instead. Pratt fatigue very much appears to be a thing at this point, so don't be too surprised if an already tough sell of a concept falls at the first barrel in December. Number 3. The Lost City 2022 is very much shaping up to be an oddly unsuccessful one for two of the most well-known entities in the industry. The Lost City once again sees Sandra Bullock and Brad Pitt, this time joined by Channing Tatum, join forces for an action-packed adventure of a flick, and once again, it doesn't look like all too many people will give a damn. That may seem like an unfair summary at a glance, but judging from the film's trailer alone, it looks like Paramount Pictures have literally copied and pasted a Dwayne Johnson jungle-infused moneymaker onto their 2022 lineup, and added in Tatum 
Tatum's usual brand of dopey topless hunk comedy to get a few more drooling fans into theatres. Do Bullock, Tatum and Pitt look to be having a whale of a time running around a jungle in this tale of a novelist getting kidnapped and terribly saved by a model? You bet! But the sight of a moustache twiddling Daniel Radcliffe chasing them down and each of the well-known faces spewing out cringe-inducing dialogue have made this an unexpectedly unanticipated March 2022 arrival. Number 2. Avatar 2 How could a sequel to one of the biggest and most successful movies ever made be considered a feature doomed to fail? Well, as with many aspects of life, timing is everything in the movie business. And it's safe to say James Cameron has taken his sweet-ass time with his never-ending string of Avatar follow-ups. And it's due to this 13-year gap between the two Pandora set spectacles that the likelihood of the Terminator and Aliens director recapturing lightning in a bottle has substantially decreased. Back in 2009, the concept of a superhero franchise-dominated box office was merely in its earliest of phrases. This meant that films like Avatar, unleashing a bold new world onto its audience, packed full of spellbinding visuals and cutting-edge 3D technology, could more than give folks a reason to file into cinemas. But the fact that the 3D gimmick has long since died a death, Superheroes now reign supreme and will likely provide stiff competition, with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom opening around the same time as the first Avatar sequel in December, means that Cameron's $1 billion sequel adventure may get off to a bit of a bumpy start. Number 1. Fantastic Beasts – The Secrets of Dumbledore Let's face it. The Fantastic Beasts franchise has hardly made believers out of even the most passionate of Harry Potter diehards. Since Eddie Redmayne fumbled his way into our lives as Newt's commander for the first time in 2016. But that film's follow-up, The Crimes of Grindelwald, only hammered home just how disenchanted Wizarding World fans had become with this prequel spin-off after it took home a franchise worth $654 million worldwide. That still wasn't enough to force Warner Brothers to slam the brakes on this lackluster series, and neither were the real-life issues surrounding Grindelwald himself, Johnny Depp. On the back of a swell of negative press surrounding his libel case versus News Group Newspapers Limited, Depp was swiftly asked to resign to make way for Mads Mikkelsen in the role. Though Mads will no doubt make for a stellar big bad, fans have already voiced their disapproval of Depp's dropping, and talk of boycotting the movie altogether is very much in the atmosphere. Coupled with an uninspiring trailer dropping in December, this secret bears all the hallmarks of a project doomed to be shunted by more than Warner Brothers are perhaps expecting. And that's our list of any other upcoming movies that are doomed to fail. Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're at it. Also, why not head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today, and I'm sure I'll see your pretty faces very, very soon. Bye-bye!